I don't like doing that, huh? Let's go to Old Town. Turn in this quest. Do, 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 do. He's like, I got a life too. I need to go home. That boy's just looking in the air, huh? Ooh, silver beehives. Yeah, I've got something for you, Daniel. Well, well, what did we have here? I use alchemy to make it. Wow, it's very constructed. You know, I totally forgot I met someone who referred to herself as an alchemist on my last trip. Wow, really? Yep, she had a couple of neat tricks up her sleeve. Really, like what? I'm dying to know. Okay, okay, simmer down now. It's all a part of the story. So, like I told you before, I was headed south. Luckily, the area didn't have too many monsters, and the lakeside view was absolutely gorgeous. I was taking a little break when I dropped my lunch in the water. Well, that seems like, yeah, that seems to happen to you a lot. Anyways, I went on my way and spotted that and spotted this neat little hill. It looked pretty easy, so I decided to climb it. And when I got to the top, Daniel, you know I love your stories, but could you please get to the part with the alchemist? So that's really all you care about, huh? Fine. Then I'll just fast forward to the part where we met. On my way back, I ran into a monster. I was injured, so the alchemist jumped in and rescued me. The monster hurt you? Well, that sounds really dangerous. Oh no, I injured myself when I tripped and fell down the hill earlier. You had to know how misleading that sounded. Oh well, as long as you're okay. So anyways, the alchemist took care of the monster and then totally sealed up my injury. Um, give me one quick second, because I'm really curious. I believe, um, because I believe Daniel right now is talking about, I believe he's talking about an alchemist from a previous game. I just don't know which alchemist he's talking about. Um... I was actually about to look it up because this is yeah. Hold on, let me see. Um, who is the alchemist that Daniel is talking about? I am actually curious. Freaking residents. Da -da -da. Hmm. Someone says Sophie, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I actually don't know. Um, I did find someone said um, Daniel most likely is talking about Sophie. But who knows? Who knows? But anyways. Wow, that's so cool. I never met any other Malcolmist besides Empel. You know, I never did get her name. She mentioned that she was looking for someone, then took off north. Well, did you at least tell her about our island? Nope, she seemed to be kind of in a rush. Jeez, so the, that's the whole story. I was expecting at least a little more. Well, you never know. Maybe I'll run into her again on my travels and we'll get another shot at it. Well, I guess so. Anyways, thanks for telling me about it, really. A traveling alchemist. I hope that can be me someday. Well... Seeing how I have seen the trailer for Rise of Two, she's definitely not on the island anymore, so I guess she got her wish. So there's that. Oh, there's a side mission over here. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see. We got a lot of side missions to go through. Gina, hi! Oh, hey, Ryza. Well, you seem kind of down. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Winnie's playing at our grandma's house today, so I thought I'd take some time to look for some inspiration. Oh, I see. So you're helping out your dad again. Nah, this is inspiration for me. 
For you? Sure, every time I read a new book, it makes me want to write a story on my own. Oh, that's so cool. So, what do you want to do with your story after you write it? Nothing really, I just want to write it. Although I wouldn't mind being a writer when I grow up. That's not really something I can... Yeah, what? That's not really something I can make a living at here on the island. So I guess I'll probably have to leave. Yeah, that's true. Making your own stories really... Yeah, isn't really the same as what, uh, as what your dad does. Well, for now, it's just an idea. I could always change my mind when I get older. Oh, and please don't mention it to my dad. Who knows if you, um, uh, who knows how he might react? Sure, no problem. Thanks anyways. I got a few other places that I'd like to check out. Hmm, whenever I see Jimmy, I feel like I'm talking to someone my own age, or even older. Peter would die from shock if he found out that Gina was even thinking about leaving the island. Probably. Probably. Complete a request. Oh, what's up here? Oh, just another way to get up there. Cool. Wait, who's up here? Oh, yeah, this is that one quest. Because he needed a magical he needed a magical tool, too, right? Yep. He's going to give me three sardines. Don't need them, but hey. Riza, did you finish whatever it was that you were going to make? Sure did. So, this is what alchemy can do. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but even I can tell how amazing it is. Are you sure I can have this? Of course. But please handle it with care. Thanks, I'll take good care of it. Okay. I need to head back and get started on the article right away. Oh, this is Gina's dad. Okay, had to think about it. Oh, and don't be surprised if I ask you to alchemize a few more eye things for me. Okay, bye. Oh, that guy just never lets up. All right, so we finished that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, die house preparation, too. So, yeah, there's still more side quests for us to get done over here. Um, let's do the die house first. Yep. Hi there, Ryza. Hey, Pat. Sounds like you're in a awfully good mood. Hmm, does it? Well, I guess things have been looking up a little bit more lately. Oh, Ryza, I'm glad that you're here. Why? Did you need something else? As a matter of fact, we need some tools to improve their equipment. Improve it? Yeah, most of it's functional now, but I thought it would be good to make some addition. Yeah, to make some additions to help it last longer. I told him it was unnecessary, but... Well, don't worry. I understand. I'll get started right away. Thanks a bunch. You're the best. Seeing them now, they're starting to act more like father and son. Really? Well, so what, is, what does he want? Um, just ingots? Do I have enough? Oh, really? I'm missing one ingot? Okay, whatever. I can get that later. And then we can start the one in the uh, house real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, she has really horrible running form. <laughs> Riza, I'm glad that you're here. Huh? What's going on? I've been studying my alchemy if that's what you want to ask. No, no, that's not it. I just want to hear more. What do you mean? I like to gather together the voices of all the villagers. Voices of the villagers? That sounds like a job for Peter. Well, I'm way ahead of you. Ah, uh, excuse me. Well, speak of the devil. Well, what's going on? Have you learned anything new about the island? Unfortunately not. Actually, I'd like to ask you to gather some information for me. Lay it on me, Cynthia. What do you need? This girl. Oh, you're making a textbook. Why would you say so? Well, you like to talk, so I didn't want to say anything until things were more definite. Oh, wow. Brutal, yeah, brutal honesty. 
<sighs> but it's my duty to inform everyone about anything happening on the island. Which brings me to my next point. I'd like you to gather information about everyone on the island. And of course, I'd like you to tell them all that I'm working on. I see. Okay then, I'll start gathering info right away. Well, I'm sure will yeah, I'm sure Peter will do his job faithfully. And now I'd like to ask something of you, Riza. Um Could you make some ink for me? Ink? Well, I think that should be fine. But not any just any ordinary ink. I like you yeah. You can use alchemy to make all kinds of things, right? Can you use it to make ink? I'm not sure how I would do that. Oh, how odd. Impulse said that it should be easy for someone like you. <laughs> well then, I'll be counting on you. Alright, well, we gotta make this woman some ink. Alchemic paint? Ooh, quartz necklace. Nice, okay. Alchemic paint isn't actually hard to make. Okay, let's see. Secluded farm. There's a lot of... Oh, man, we got a lot of side quests to go through. Ryza, you remember the pudding that we talked about? I finished it. Really? I'd love to try it. Of course. Oh, so this is the big city pudding is like, huh? Well, let's eat it. Oh, it's so creamy and sweet. Indeed, it's very rich and very delicious. Right? And I couldn't believe it when I first tasted it. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Oh, fresher. Here, try this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It has a dis yeah, it has a distinct flavor of goat's milk baked into it. Well, you sure do love your goat's milk, huh, fresher? Oh, well, you can turn this into a local specialty. Yeah, we should seriously consider opening a shop for it. My own specialty. It's not a little much, but I'll try to make some more so everyone can try it. A specialty dessert. I definitely wouldn't mind having a little more. Alright, more little slice of life type stuff. Yeah. And, easy stuff to get. Yeah. Oh, um, get Claudia's, uh, what's oh, it called? Up to. Okay. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Go to the Bowden District, right? Oh, Bowden no District is where they wanted me to go to. Yes, Riza. Riza? Oh, oh, hi, Agatha. Hey, what's wrong? I don't like that look on your face. This isn't something I'm happy to bring up, but I just thought that you should know. What's going on? Rumors have been spreading among the fishermen and the other dock workers. What rumors? Basically, the reason why all the fish have disappeared is because of the alchemist Outlander. What? You mean Impel? Who's spreading such vicious lies? Impel would never do something like that. I believe you. But the fishermen don't. The rumor is starting to take on life on its own. But why? Many of the locals have, haven't had a chance to talk with them personally. All they know is that some outsiders showed up and not long after disaster struck the village. People tend to look for easy answers when it comes to things like this. Yeah, best believe. They definitely do. But... I've heard that he had. I've heard that he and his partner have been spending a lot of time near the lake. So the fishermen, they're just patrolling the area to make sure the monster lurking at the, lurking in the lake doesn't attack. Which, according to the fishermen, is just another lie spread by the interloping alchemists. I don't have time for this. I have my own investigations to work on. Riza, please don't do anything rash. Not that I expect you to listen. <sighs> I'll see what I can do about this. Alright then. Uh, so where am I supposed to go? To the atelier? Oh no, we're supposed to go... 
Okay, yeah, yeah. We gotta go back. Um, we gotta go back to the Rasen district. Rasen. Raisin? Rasen. Rasen got? I'm kidding. I don't even like Naruto like that. I don't like the character. The show's alright. Or the story is okay. The character? Mm -mm. Ryza? Hold on right there. <sighs> what do you want, my Bro, I cannot say that to my mom. <laughs> Yo, my mom would... I'd be dead if I ever said, what do you want? <laughs> I'm really busy right now. This Empo fella that you've been hanging around with, he's an alchemist, right? Are you sure that he's okay? What do you mean, okay? Everyone's talking about how he provoked that dragon. It made all the fish disappear. What? Don't tell me you believe those rumors, too. I don't know what you've been up to lately, but I just hope that you're not being mixed up in something like that. Mom, why would you just assume that Impel would do such a terrible thing? Why wouldn't I? After all, he's an expert in that strange sorcery that nobody understands. Alchemy isn't... Afternoon, Mrs. Stout. Uh, do you mind if we buy a riser for a bit? Hey, just hold on. What are you doing? Mom said that Impel and that alchemy is... Well, I know a lot of people have been saying terrible things lately and the rumors are spreading all over town all over town dad decided to pop me in the mouth over it he said i was ruining his reputation uh, his reputation by hanging out with a vagrant vagrant i don't know how to pronounce that word as if he has a reputation to ruin tao claudia has anyone said anything to you? My parents think that I got, yeah, that I got involved with Impel because I spent too much time with those books. I didn't know what to say, so I came here. And I'm worried that they might ban me from the library. Father said that he had heard some other merchants that Impel dumped poison in the lake. That's terrible. Father's known him for long enough that he doesn't believe the rumors, but it's still causing problems. This can't all be happening by coincidence, can it? There must be something behind it, but who? Or something. Nah, it can't be. He wouldn't go that far, would he? There's only one way to find out. We need to look into it ourselves. And we can all guess what, what, what they're talking about. Alright. So, we are headed to the port. I hit the port. Yep, I hit the port. Man, we haven't gotten any battles today. Okay, thanks. I'll look into it. Uh, thanks. You're a guard. Yeah, you're a guardian, right? So it's your job to arrest anyone who might be causing trouble. Agatha, the entire island is. Uh, that boy ran. I know. So I guess that you heard, huh? It seems there's been a coordinated effort by the fishermen to spread these rumors to the village. A coordinated effort? So then... But the method is so sloppy. It just goes to show he really is still a child. He? That's right. It all comes back to Lumbar. He's the source of all these rumors. Then Bose must be involved too. We never said Bose was. Wait, Lint. Just calm down. Calm down? No way. Not this time. I've had it with him. Well, I know how you feel, but... Bro, you're a man. Keep your emotions in check, man. <laughs> how, you supposed, how you supposed to get ladies? <laughs> you can't keep your emotions in check. Oh, man. Certain emotions, like anger. You don't, you don't ever want to have anger. Anger is an evil... Yeah, anger is an evil emotion. You don't want that. Everyone, please... Oh. A scuffle in the street isn't going to fix this problem. So, Ryza, what are you planning to do? We need to talk to Bose first. Then we can figure out what's going on from here. I actually don't remember if Bose was a part of this. Yeah, I really don't remember if he was a part of this. Where's the go? Drop a hill? Okay. I actually really don't know my way around this island. I had to rely on the um. I had to rely on the map. Mr. Brennan, where is Bose? Who's that yelling me? Yeah, who's that yelling at me in my own home? 
Oh, it's you. What do you want? I hope you didn't drag that Valance girl with you. Who knows what new rumors might arise? Huh, you would know, because you're the one spreading all the rumors. What? What are you accusing me of? If you have time to waste here, surely you have time to deliver this document to the Vagabonds. This is... a summons to appear before the town assembly? But there's only one major town issue. Or this is only for major town issues. Exactly. We must sentence those who um, who would disturb the peace. They're lucky, that they're lucky we invited them to join. <laughs> you call that lucky? What did you call me? How dare you speak to me like that? Have you forgotten who I am? Well, calm down, Lint. I don't think he knows what's going on. This could just be... Yeah, this could just cause more trouble for us. Yeah, she's right. Now's no time to go flying off the handle. <sighs> Parent and child. Anyways, I, I used the wrong voice. <laughs> I trust that you'll deliver the summons. Who knows where those drifters might be? Mr. Brennan, I'm sorry, but you didn't answer my question. Question? What question? Bose, where is he? <sighs> I have no idea. Bose, if you've got something to say, why don't you say it to our faces? You better be there at the assembly. That boy. That boy will spread rumors? I don't guess he will. That, that's, that's, that's guilty if I've ever seen it. Alright, so now we gotta go back to the atelier. I knew that, yeah, I knew that they were upset with me, but I didn't expect to be dragged in front of the kangaroo court. They got kangaroos in this game? <laughs> well, to think he takes such formal actions as, a, yeah, as issuing a summons. I suppose he's a slave to procedure. Well, he just loves any opportunity to throw around his political weight. I'm really sorry, you two. It seems like the entire village has turned against you. Eh, no need to be upset. It's normal for travelers like us to take the blame for whatever trouble may wander into. The fact is, we've been through this kind of thing many times before. That's right. The root cause of the trouble always lies elsewhere, of course. Oh, really? So will you go to the assembly? Obviously, they have no... Yeah, obviously, they have no basis for their ac accusations. Eh, I have no choice. Running away would only make us look even more guilty. But there's no way it'll be a fair trial. And if they decide if they decide to ex exile you from the village, <laughs> what would change? It's not like we live there currently. Although I suppose I should try to fight it. We must remain in this land until we uncover the seal, uh, uncover and seal the gate. Seriously, why are they so fixated on a particular gate? I wish they'd tell me. Uh, well, when do you think that might happen? We haven't even found the gate yet. Well, I hope we can do it before I have to leave the village. <laughs> Anyways, let's focus on the near future for now. Let's go, Lila. Oh, but safety first. Of course. You hardly need to mention it. Hmm? What are you talking about? It doesn't concern you. Well, perhaps it does. Either way, that insurance of ours may soon come into play. Oh, yeah. The end. The quote unquote insurance. All right. Okay, we're at 53 minutes in the recording. So we still got time. I call this emergency town assembly into session. My son, Bose Brennan, will lead the proceedings. I'm glad to see that you didn't run away this time. I never run away. Not when it... Our agenda is the... Yeah, our agenda is the many disasters that struck our village and their relation to newly arrived alchemists. The dragon's arrival, the bizarre loss of the fish supply, it all began when the alchemist and his woman arrived. <laughs> and his woman. 
That's the only reason you have for blaming him? Your accusation is absolutely no basis. Is it bias? Base? I don't know how to pronounce that word. They've been crawling all over the village and its ruins. They violate every taboo we adhere to. <laughs> That's right. We pay all due respect to those ruins, and yet they trample all over them. All right. They must have something to do with the meteor castle to make our yeah to make our dragon protector turn on us. You didn't even know it was a dragon protector. <laughs> it's true that dragon has never caused us any trouble. Such a and caused us trouble. Such strangeness cannot be denied, and it only attacked you because you attacked it first. Actually, I don't even think the dragon actually attacked them to begin with when we saw him on the main road. They didn't necessarily say that it did. At least I don't remember. I don't know. It's been about a week of... Yeah, it's been about a week since I actually recorded that episode. So... Anyway. <sighs> if I can just explain to him about the Felucia and the gate... They even implied that they have. Yeah. Huh. They even implied that they that they visit the Devil's Field. Another serious violation. What are they plotting? Those outsiders ex ignore our traditions. That one is worthy of exile. And furthermore, his alchemy is nothing but an arcane, occult sorcery. What? Ryza, when the fish first disappeared, you created a special bait for the fishmen. Is that correct? Yeah, but it did work. Everyone knows that. For a while, yes, but before long, not one single fish could be hauled up. Everyone knows that too. It's because a sea monster made its way into the lake. It had nothing to do with my bait. Who would believe such an obvious lie? It's clear that you spread some drug, no, some poison into the lake. And how did Ryza learn how to make this poison from an interloping alchemist? Bose, you can't seriously be trying to blame all this on alchemy. The scheme to ruin, yeah, the scheme to enrage the dragon, the poison to kill off the fish, the alchemist, yeah, the alchemist is at the heart of it all. I mean, just two situations. It'd be more, I don't know, it'd be a more appeasing, um, not appeasing. It'd be more, uh, I'd be more inclined to believe him if it was like a third, but not two instances. You speak true, my son. The root of the cause is... I move that we exile these two drifters and ban the use of alchemy throughout the village. Now then, Ryza. Everything can go back to... Mr. Brennan, we have trouble. What is this commotion? The town assembly was just about to arrive at its verdict. We've got bigger problems. Uh, yeah, we got bigger problems right now. A giant monster just attacked the port. I've never seen anything like it. W what? That's impossible. Huh. Now you see what Ryza tried to warn you about? I was not involved with the dragon, and now... Anyways, it's time to put your alchemy to use, Ryza. You know what to do. You're right. Just leave it to me. Yeah, don't you feel like a butt? <laughs> All right, let's get to that port. Everyone, Riza, there you are. This is bad, really, really bad. Look. I mean, we've seen one of these monsters before. A sand whale, or, or a dirt whale? I don't know what we call it. Ground whale? But now it's an actual whale whale? Or shark whale? I don't know what that is. It's so big. Alright, it's gonna ram into the port. No, it's heading for the shallow water. It might be looking for a good spot to get to land. We need to go after it. Oh, there's Lila already waiting. Lila? The monster's headed this way. I thought so. Let it be here soon. You, Guardian, come with me. We need to evacuate the stragglers. I know that's important, but are you guys really going to make Ryza fight that thing all by herself? I'm not making her. I'm trusting her. You guys can handle this, can't you? <laughs> Heck yeah. 
Come well, on, we've already slayed it. a dragon. We'll take care of this no problem. Uh, well, I knew that this was going to happen. Why can't I ever just say no to these things? Because you would never abandon your friends? Alright. Well, if we're going to win here, we'll need to take all the bad stuff and flip it upside down. Uh, what I mean is, please just help me. Alright. What's funny is how this monster looks big in the cutscene, but it's just, it's still super tiny. And they just straight up screwed us over. Bro, don't be... I don't have wind damage. I can't use wind damage. Oh, okay, cool. I say use wind damage. I can't use wind damage. Not too shabby. It's kind of hard to believe, but... Yeah, we won. Golly, bro. <laughs> Lila is built different. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to say it. Like, now that you can actually see her, like, up front, she is built way too different. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's the only comment I'm going to make about it. Anyways. Well done. We've evacuated most of the villagers ahead of the um, ahead of time, so there were no major injuries. Well, thanks. Wait, ahead of time? Well, I guess that you were able to prove that there was a sea monster here. It was kind of overkill, though. Let's say that we've also earned the right to be treated as full-fledged adults. Well, if you go back to the town assembly and show them how you used the alchemy to win. That'd be a huge help. The town assembly. Well, I guess I... Yeah. I guess I can say this. Or that it's over, but the monster attacked... Yeah, attacked at the perfect time. Well, that's because I lured it out. It was much bigger than I expected, but I'm glad to see that my fear was unfounded. You lured it out? The thing that we made rise with? Well, no. You remember that bit of insurance you made for us? It actually contained an odor that attracts all kinds of sea-based monsters. All right, we wanted to, yeah, we wanted time to, yeah, we wanted to time it just right. You, what? So that's why Impel was so calm all throughout the assembly. Wait, you were there, Claudia? All right, so you were just moving, yeah, so you were just moving us around like puppets this whole time. Ultimately, the monster had to be defeated. I dragged the Guardian away so that you would earn all the credit. We capitalized on an unavoidable situation. Our position here is strengthened, and we now have more options. Adults are also sneaky. Well, I hope you'll take this adult advice with that in mind. You still need to go and restore Impel's honor. Oh, okay. Well, let's go do that then. Oh man, um, I wasn't, I was actually planning on cutting it off after that particular part, but we still got to do impulse on it, so we, I guess we can cut it off. I don't plan on, um, yeah, I don't plan on playing, uh, doing three parts today. <laughs> Rosalind Stout here. I have returned from battle. Oh. Huh? And what of the beast? She and her comrades were able to defeat it. All on their own. That's right. And it's all thanks to the power of alchemy. What? Well, that's amazing. Oh, but then the alchemist... 
Uh, it seems that we may have overstepped our bounds. Now do you understand exactly what we are trying to tell you? We didn't poison the fish with alchemy, and we didn't provoke the dragon, and the sea monsters do exist. Now we can deal with the bigger problem and how these insulting rumors appear so suddenly. What, what, what do you mean? I've been looking into that, and I discovered that Bose has been using Lombard to spread these rumors. Bose, explain yourself. Did you really convince? Yeah, did you really convene this assembly based on such lies? Say something, Bose. Why would you go through all the trouble just to? You could have just come to me yourself. Or can't you do anything without someone standing behind you? No, I. This boy ran again. Why are you running away, Bose? Did you call him a jerk? <laughs> Not a jerk, but did she say Baka? I thought that meant idiot. Well, I... Uh, this entire assembly is officially adjourned. I suppose not every story can end with a happy... Uh, yeah, happily ever after.